morning on Weekend Wake Up. We have a Marlboro Roastery that serves up more than coffee. Thank you guys so much for being with us this morning. La Shoe Brewing and Roasting Company. How did you guys come up with the name La Shoe? Um, so Marlboro is an old shoe manufacturing city, so we really wanted to play, pay homage to um, the, our city, and uh, La Shoe is kind of what we landed on. And I know you guys have been around for five years now. How did you get your start? Roasting coffee and brewing beer. <laughs> Perfect combination. Yeah. Perfect yeah. combination. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Doesn't get better, I don't yeah. think. <laughs> so I was a home brewer and uh, she was a home roaster. And once we kind of, I don't know, we were, I was brewing in the basement, she was roasting upstairs, and, and we were like, we should bring this to, to the city that we live in. Yeah. Um, and so. We started looking at spaces, and and here we are. Mm -hmm. Are the are the same elements true in roasting coffee and brewing beer? Like, do you use the same sort of chemistry ideas? A little bit, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's um, all flavored water. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just makes water better. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Very similar processes. Um, the only thing with coffee is you're not fermenting it, um, but you're applying a lot of the same techniques uh, with like doing a pour over, you're basically extracting all the flavor from the coffee grounds where with beer, you're extracting the flavor from malt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. And you are the master roaster. Not the master, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the roaster. So you went to school for this, uh, a week long uh, yep. course. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite type of coffee to actually make? So right now it's probably the one we're going about to try. Okay. It's the anaerobic coffee. Um, basically, in that process, they take the green beans and they put them in these airtight containers for, it could be like two days, it could be 10 days, but when they're in this airtight container, they produce certain acids that make them, that give them more exotic flavors. Ooh, so, okay. for example, this Guatemala, typically Guatemalas are more chocolatey, but because of that, it went through that process, it's going to be more like blueberries or plums. Shall we try? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to try and this. And Melinda, you prepared this using the pour over. Yeah. Why is that your favorite? Um, I love to make this when we're home on the weekend. Um, it's such an, it's a, the filter makes it a really nice clean cup of coffee. So it's kind of our go-to brew method. It is, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. I got to say, I usually <laughs> add cream and sugar. I'm that guy. Me too. Right? You don't need to. This, yeah. You don't need it's to. A, you're you absolutely don't. right. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are doing beer too. Yes. Any yes. of your favorites? I know it's like a baby. You can't choose yeah. a favorite. But like any that you can um, shoot me towards. So uh, doo uh, meet, meet Me at doo is one of our popular IPAs right now. Okay. Um, it's very good. It's very fruity, juicy, hazy. Um, Duops was the name of the club that was in our space before we moved in. More homage. Um, exactly. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's so cool. And I've been to your tap room. I love it. Um, was able to bring my dog there, which I really yes. appreciate. <laughs> um, but for people who are watching, they want to check you guys out. Where can they find you? Yeah, we're located at 19 Weed Street, right in downtown Marlboro. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. This <laughs> is delicious. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers.